Hey, what's up everybody? Our Roots Games here, and welcome back to my Minecraft survival. Last episode, we built uh, that auto wool harvester. This episode, I still, I still sort of have to figure out what I'm going to be doing, but I kind of got a plan. Emptying out this chest somewhat. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Why did it, what were all those iron bars from? Did I use them in here? Maybe I didn't use them at all. They were a stack of 16. Volume seems a little loud. Oh, I'm playing it over the speakers. I'll fix that later. Uh, oh, about the all, the, the wool harvester. I fixed it. I, I guess I never really under, or figured out why the minecart was going around continuously. But, I did prevent it. Took me a while to get this figured out. So if you watched last episode and you wanted to build that, and you had problems, um, well, if you figured it out, this video's a little late, but... Dang it! Well, you sort of saw it. Something goes in here, and... Signal goes... Powers this. Hold on. Um, under pearls. Oh, bad. Right. Powers that redstone, which powers that rail. But what I added, it also powers this, which opens this. So if it's just open, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. So the whole point of this is that it will actually stop it when it comes around. I guess I didn't really show it because I was busy doing other stuff, but it works. That's all that matters. And this actually, based on how soon after last episode I got this one and that one all built, I should have this last one built, but I don't. So I ended up taking out all of the powered rails on, gosh, that's got to be a terrible echo. I'll practically mute my speakers. So I took out all of the powered rails on this last one, and that still kept the minecart going around, but that fixed it. Um, I don't know how many powered rails I use, but I think I have like 40 in that chest over there. So what I want to build in this episode, um, I'll have to kill those later. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to extend this all the way down there. I think I was going to put something here. I don't remember. Maybe I was just going to put trees for that. I don't even know. It's like 13 blocks. I don't know. That's just a random number. Over here, I kind of want to have like a, a downtown area. I know that this whole place is like supposed to be a town, but... I don't have a downtown, so I'll get my TNT, and this TNT, I spent like 10 minutes trying to find this. I checked every single chest in this town, then I finally went home, and in my redstone chest, like my third from last chest I had in my house, I checked, and I found it. I don't know why it was there, but apparently I put it there. Um... I think, so doing all that running back and forth, I kind of want to make like a bunch of speed potions. Unfortunately, they don't stack, so it's kind of an inventory hog. But I think you can make them last up to like six minutes. But that, that'd be pretty nice. I don't know. We'll see. So I kind of want it to be like a circle. I don't know how big the circle would be. Um, if I actually want a real downtown, circle's gonna have to be really big. Maybe I'll have, I don't know, <laughs> I'll have to figure this out later, because to be honest, I don't really have anything planned. What I want to do this episode is build, like, a bakery, and so far, the only thing I have planned for that is, I think I'm gonna use bricks for the floor. And I have like 24 bricks in there. <laughs> um, so, 
Let's see how long this actually takes. At the time of recording this, it's Monday, so whenever this video goes up, that's when I'll actually finish this, obviously. I can't upload it before I'm done, but we'll see how long it takes me to build this, so I'll get back to you when I have uh, the correct materials and actually have a plan for the building. I know I had more TNT than this. Oh, there it is. 35. Okay, I'll see you there. Come on, red wool. There we go. Nine. Hmm, let's just bring more. <laughs> I did not really need to do that, but I had enough red wool. So, this is where we're going to be building the bakery. Uh, I got a nice pathway. This was going to have, like, buildings all around it, but I didn't really notice this until now. This is five wide. I probably won't be able to put a building there. Even if I went from right here to right there, a five wide building only leaves three insides so uh my bad so i flattened out this entire area and the oh wait i'm supposed to have leaves here this is going to extend that way it's going to be like a square i might do some kind of like abnormal shape but i'm gonna have to cover this up i had a zombie come out of here and I guess I'm not really I just noticed this he would have had to come up over here he was wearing armor so he didn't burn he went all the way over here and then right here so I was watching a video at the time and I was standing right here and I heard the zombie and I'm like wait that doesn't sound like it's from the game of course I get hit right in the back and zombie with leather armor and I don't think I got it, so... Oh yeah, damaged my golden leggings. Now they only have 11 life left. But I got the skeleton of the bakery. Pretty much. It shouldn't take me too long, but you know me. You know how I build stuff very slowly. I don't know why I brought a double chest here. I guess I could put other stuff in here for later, but... A double chest is unnecessary. Oh, I need white wool, too. I'll get that later. Um, what am I getting? Oh, I need a door. Wait, bricks. There we go. Let's make the floor first. So, it's, uh, it's Friday today. I started on Monday. Let me explain. Um, on Monday, I actually had this building completed. But, um... Yeah, I had the building completed, but I had to work out, like, where to put it. I had to clear out this area and uh, figure out this pathway. Tuesday, that's actually when I did this pathway, but also, mainly, um, on Tuesday, the Grand Theft Auto V gameplay trailer came out, so I made that video. I went through that thing frame by frame, and... That took quite a while, but I was doing it while watching uh, Generic B's live stream, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> Do I have glass with me? No, I still had that in the furnace. Then Wednesday, um, what did I do on Wednesday? I know I did something. Um, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm getting all my days mixed up, so I almost didn't even know that it was Friday today. But yeah, Thursday, did something basically all day. Um, do I have windows here? I don't think so. Hold on. I have screenshots. No, no windows. This is actually two floors. I don't really want to have too many uh, two-story buildings, but... Or taller buildings I should say two stories really isn't that bad but 
I don't really plan on building skyscrapers because that would just get annoying to build after a while because it's like all repeating patterns up to the sky, up to Y of 256. I've never actually built anything that tall and I don't plan on it because I don't have the patience. That would be too annoying. Crap, is this? That's three. So this is where I'm going to have the awning. The reason I got uh, carpet and not the full blocks of wool, because I like the look of the awning when it's thinner instead of having huge fat awning. So I'm using carpet and let me get more white wool. Mm -hmm. There you go. Fifth, wait. Oh, that's what happened. 26. I'm probably not even going to need 26. Let me get the other carpet. Let me make it all into carpet. Yeah, that's fine. Besides this, I don't know what I'm going to use carpet for. Oh, wait, I used it for that. Duh. Forgot. I'm going to wait for it to become nighttime. My inventory is too full. I don't think I'm going to need this much wood for now. I took out all the wood from uh, my wood farm. Or all of the oak wood. So, and then I cut all the trees down again. So that's like many stacks. I don't know. I didn't count. I got like a stack and a half just from cutting them down. So what I plan on doing... Where's our crafting table? Here it is. Um, I, my original plan was to have uh, like trap doors like this, because what's pretty cool about these uh, uh, the carpet is you can actually place it on any type of block. You can put it on mushrooms, but let me make some signs first. Um. I'm not going to need that many. Let's just make six. So this was my original plan, to have signs like this, and then oops, put the carpet like that, there we go, and then Very, very difficult to aim perfectly. There you go. And this really isn't, it doesn't look that bad, at least to me. But I didn't, or I didn't think of this at first. But, apparently, you can put uh, carpet on top of string. So, I might end up doing it this way. We'll see how... It looks. I mean, the string really isn't that noticeable, unless you actually look at it or look for it. The bad thing about this is I don't know how, or it's going to be more difficult to actually put it, put all the carpet on. And so this is what that'll look like. Hmm. If I do that, then I might want to extend this up all the way. So, where my fences go? Oh, they're still in my hotbar. Here we go. I don't know. We'll see what I end up liking better in the end. Uh, then trapdoor is here. Right there. And then these will be windows. I'll also have windows uh, on the top floor. Now, where do I start the stairs? I don't think I have that in any of my screenshots, so that's kind of a problem. Let's do this. Um. Huh. 
Huh. I have one of these open. I don't know which one it is, though. That's not supposed to be like that. Um, I could have it like that. Dang it. I don't remember how I had these stairs. Was it like this? And then, yeah, I think this was it. Okay, figured that out. Took a while, but I figured it out. Got a bunch of stone. The furnaces over there still don't have lava. I don't know if I'm going to put lava in it, because I was in my build test world a little earlier, and, um, yeah, the building's kind of gone in my build test world. So, the fire spread, or... Fire spread from the lava, it still spreads that far, but it's like apparently it's like a really rare occasion because the the building was left alive, I guess you could say, for a very long time in that world before that actually happened. So now I'm kind of scared about why did I make so many stairs? I only need one. Dang it. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when I try to talk and play video games at the same time. <laughs> I don't really think. There. Thanks, 40 stairs. I'm really going to need that. Okay. I just missed a random block on the side. Whatever. Steam Summer Sale started. I haven't bought what are you doing? You know, this is a bakery, but we could we could have some we could have some room for uh for some meat products in here. You could be the first one. You might be the only one, but get out of here. Get off of my awning. There you go. You fell. Hmm. Ta -da. I just need to fill this in with wood pretty much all the way. I actually have windows back here, too. I don't know how I have the windows, though. Um, see, the, the thing is, I only took pictures or screenshots of uh, the outside of the building, not the inside. So I really don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Put some torches. Can't have monsters spawning in here. We could sell rotten flesh. <laughs> I don't think anyone would buy, but we could sell it. I'm kind of about the, the Steam Summer Sale. I'm kind of waiting for uh, Call of Duty World at War to go on sale because I wanted to do custom zombies maps for a long time. But, I never wanted to pay the full price of $20, because it's so expensive. I don't know if it will go on sale, because it is a very old game, so it doesn't really seem like uh, the older games go on sale. I don't know, Duke Nukem 3D was on sale. That's like, I don't know how, how many years old that is, but... <laughs> Oops. Then again, I think that was actually like a really popular game. I don't know how popular uh, World at War is. I think this is correct. Now I just need to get my stairs. I bought a game on Amazon for $5. And it's... For, if you've bought, like... I don't, it's probably more than just downloaded games. Where have I put all my glass? Yeah, apparently right here. I don't know if you've ever bought uh, a downloaded game from, uh, not Steam, Amazon. They sometimes give you, like, promotional offers. I got three promotional offers from uh, buying to toy soldiers. I have no idea really why 
they did this, but three promotional offers. Each one gave me just enough money to get another game for free. So I got I paid five dollars for and Toy Soldiers was on sales, like fifty percent off, so I already got that uh cheap. And then I got three more games. A total for the the games I got for free would have been thirty-five dollars, but apparently Steam really wanted me to have those games, so I got them for free. How special is that? Just in case you're wondering, I got, uh, I bought Toy Soldiers, I already said that, but, um, I got The Maw, Guns of Icarus, and some other really crappy indie game called, like, Legion, uh, hold on, I think I have Steam open. Uh, nope, I uninstalled it, and apparently it takes it <laughs> off of your, uh, recently played games. So... I think I might end up going with that one and not the signs and uh, trap doors because it looks better to me. I kind of notice it there, but it's not really a problem. You know what I've noticed? The most apparently the most difficult part of building. Oh wait, I still need to finish the roof. Apparently, the most difficult part of building for me is adding the doors because that building still doesn't have a door this one's probably not gonna have a door for another week um yeah I think I'll just add the the roof later all I'm doing is you know I got ender, ender pearls all I'm doing is just adding that's too far where's that going boom all I'm doing is just adding a uh, spruce wood stairs so it kind of blends in oh wait I need a half slab up here oh well it's just a repeating pattern you don't need to see it as I'm showing you it dang it I knew that was gonna happen oh well I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you haven't subscribed already please do and I will see you later bye